Hey, this is Suzette, my sister Tina with Love 41, and we're here today to talk to you about a campaign we're starting today. Hey guys, about a year and a half ago, I was over in Rwanda on one of my many trips, and I was walking through the Women's Center, which is a vocational school for women. They get to come there and to learn a trade. Um, these are women that are, some of them are HIV positive. Some of them have severe cases of um, at-home abuse and yeah. But they but they actually get to come and make a better life for themselves and for their family here. And that's something Africa New Life is doing. Uh, but one of the things I want to talk to you about is while I was there, um, we saw babies in the classroom. And so I asked why there was babies in the classroom. And they'd say that the women have no place to take their children. So some of them, if they're infants, they bring them with them to nurse them. But some just leave them at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're talking four and under at left at home. And I just was astonished. I couldn't believe because some of these women walk three hours or so to get to, even to class. Um, so we researched that a little more just to make sure, and it, we found it was a fact. And um, I just couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I, it just bothered me so much. And um, many years ago, I ran a daycare, so I, I knew about running a daycare. And immediately, my mind just said, "We got to run. We got to start a daycare here with, for these women." Uh, we need a safe place for these children. We need a safe place. Uh, the mothers feel safe about it, and they have um, a nutritious meal, and they get taught the Word of God, and they get taught their ABCs. And so uh, in 2000, and, well, actually January of this year, we were able to start the first daycare, which is called the Dream Daycare, which I love the name because it lets the children dream, and the mothers get to dream too because of that. And that's where you guys came in. You helped us with the fundraiser last year to fully fund, not fully fund, but to open, I should say, the daycare. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank you for that because it wouldn't be going if it wasn't for you guys. You gave monetary, you gave supplies and many other things. But here we are, and uh, 2014 is coming upon us, and we need your help. 2014 is not funded. It's not fully funded. And we need people to step up and be willing to own this ministry and be a part of Changing Lives for $25 a month. We have this campaign, 55 people. That's all we need is 55 people to dedicate $25 a month to fully fund the Dream Day Care. These kids were coming in malnourished and skinny and very underweight. They're flourishing. They're doing fantastic. Even the mothers said they're examples in their little villages because they're so well behaved and they're smart. And I mean, they get bathed, they get food. And they're getting educated and they're hearing about God. So can you give up a pedicure once a month? Can you give up Starbucks once a week for $25 a month? It's a tax deduction. It's totally a tax write-off for you. And we need 55 people to own this. And we want to do something special for you 55 people. Beyond, we want to give you a free Love 41 t-shirt. But there's some other cool surprises I have when I go next month. I want to send you a little something in addition to that just to show you what you're doing and how you're providing for these people and these women. And we just want to thank you, but the campaign starts today. Need 55 of you. We only have 12 days. It ends on the 27th, 27th. of this month. We need 55 of you guys. So are you one of those 55 that will donate $25 a month to fully fund the Dream Daycare in Africa? Email us at Tina at Love 41 or, or Suzette at Love 41. And we'll step you through it. We'll step you through it. Tina at Love 41 or Suzette at Love 41. And we'll step you through the process and how you can get set up. Thank you. Thank you.